leads the world in clean energy. Obama and DiCaprio seize the moment. And the Japanese turn office paper into toilet paper. This is Planet 100. Welcome to Planet 100, the top environmental news stories of the day in 100 seconds or less. I'm Sarah Backhouse and it's Monday, February 1st. China is leading the global race in clean energy, overtaking the rest of the world in the production of wind turbines, solar panels, nuclear reactors and efficient coal power plants. In last week's State of the Union address, President Obama committed to keeping America ahead of the curve on clean energy. But the sobering reality is that China is outspending the US by a ratio of more than 6 to 1, pledging $440 billion over our $69 billion. Analysts are concerned that if this trend continues, the West may trade in its dependency on Middle Eastern oil for Chinese-made renewable energy technologies. In a bold move on Friday, the president issued an executive order for the federal branch of the US government to slash greenhouse gas emissions by 28% by 2020. The federal government, including the armed forces, is the biggest emitter of greenhouse gas emissions, and Obama's cuts are equivalent to 205 billion barrels of oil. But this is a drop in the barrel compared to the cuts that need to be made to maintain a stable climate. Last week, the NRDC teamed up with Leonardo DiCaprio and other celebrities to launch a video campaign entitled This Is Our Moment to support the signing of a strong energy bill. And finally, a new Japanese technology called White Goat takes shredded office paper, dissolves it in water and turns it into toilet paper. White Goat takes 30 minutes to produce one neat roll of toilet paper, a reported saving of 60 cedar trees per year. And that's our show for today. See you tomorrow for more Planet 100 news.